Good morning and welcome to December 6th. I had to leave the house in a hurry, so we are just doing our advent real quick in the car here. Later on tonight, I'm going to be setting my hair with pin curls for the second time. So that's going to be a lot of fun to share with you guys. Pardon the noise and the rain. I didn't have my mic. I didn't want to do my whole light setup inside because I just, I just needed to go. You've all been there. It looks like I have a whipped vanilla purse. Well, that's not really visible. Wood vanilla purse lip gloss. Oh. Oh, how creative. <laughs> I told her lip base. I didn't say it had to be four lips. Alicia, five stars. Good job. Peach Prosecco and Mimosa flavor bath bomb. That's genius. And clearly this color is a thing for me. I love it. That's great. She's just the best. Let's play with this lip gloss. I don't think I've worn this many glosses in like my entire life. I mean, maybe when I was 14. The gloss game is new to me and I'm actually loving it. Oh, we shimmer. I need a mirror, make sure I don't get it everywhere. I don't even know if it's gonna come up in the camera. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm gonna be putting on lipstick later. Super cute. <clears throat> Love it. it. Smells really good too. It's it's whipped vanilla and it smells like I don't know how whipped is a smell, but it smells like whipped vanilla. They accomplish that. It doesn't just smell like vanilla, it smells like whipped vanilla. Leave me a comment down below. Do you have a favorite lip gloss that you use either by itself or over lipstick? I would really love to know what other people are using because I'm starting to like the shine look. Not more than the matte because I think the matte will always be like near and dear to my heart, but that shiny look is definitely growing on me. Leave me a comment down below with your favorite lip gloss. I think so far my favorite is, I don't think it's called creme de menthe but it might be called creme de menthe that you get at victoria's secret i think it's victoria's secret it might be bad than body works i don't know i remember growing up as a teenager all of the fancy upper class girls had it and it was at one of the expensive stores and i went in and i bought it once as a teenager and i made that tube last me forever and just recently i was at the mall and i was like oh i should get it so i have a tube of it now and i keep it at work for when i just like don't want to put on lipstick i really like how that one feels maybe that's not the best one or maybe that's not the best one to put over lipstick. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Right now, I am just heading to work. So again, super boring. It's gonna be raining on the drive, as you can see. We're apparently in the middle of a pineapple express where there's like a river in the sky. I don't know much about weather, but also I was born in Oregon. I grew up in Oregon. Rain doesn't need to have fancy names to be normal. Like this is normal Oregon. We haven't seen it in a while, like where we have like a lot of rain like this multiple days in a row. This is my childhood. This is what I'm used to. Like, this isn't a big deal, but apparently it's called a pineapple express and we're going to be getting a cold front mixed in with the heat on december 4th we had the highest temperature that we've had since 1970 so we broke like a 50 plus year old record it is warm right now my car i have to have the defrost on because my breath is hotter than outside but i have to put it on like kind of cool air because otherwise it gets too hot in here weather be crazy i'm just gonna drive to work today I'm gonna drive safely First lesson that I discovered when doing my pin curls is my hair was desperately in need of a trim. So I did trim off about two inches. That was pretty unhealthy. I was able to get that trim, but I'm hoping that they'll roll up a little bit easier. I also think for lesson number two that my hair was not wet enough as I was rolling it. So I am going to be using a squirt bottle and I did just move. So I have a lovely little industrial squirt bottle that we use for our reptiles. The third lesson that I learned when I was sliding my pin curls off of my fingers I was rolling the ends up too far into the center of the curl and so when I was pulling them out they actually were uncurling in a section and for that entire set I had to fix it and like re-roll it in think of like an old corded phone how they would get those kinks in them and they would be long in the middle and then you'd have to re-spiral it and that's what I was needing to do with my pin curls and I'm hoping it's because I was just curling too much of those ends and so I'm gonna try to tuck my ends a little bit less lesson number four I did not do small enough pin curls curls. So I did do two finger whip pin curls and I do intend on doing that again today. However, I am going to take smaller segments. It did last for I believe six days actually, which was completely surprising for me. My hair does not hold a curl to save my life. This is naturally how great it is. And this is just getting out of the shower, brushing it with my wet brush and letting it air dry. I don't even blow dry this straight. It is just absolutely bone straight and a little bit dry. I was so thrilled that I was actually able 
have curls for an entire week. That might have been the most exciting thing that's happened to me in a really long time because it's been a lifelong struggle with my hair. I remember when we were doing it for dances and things like that, my mom would curl one side and by the time she was done with the other, the first side would be straight. It's just been absolutely miserable. So I am really happy that this method works for me and I hope that if you are trying it out for the first time, you kind of figure out what works for you. So what I'm using is Bedhead Wave Rider and this says that it's a versatile styling cream for shape, bold, and structure. There really aren't any instructions on here. I'm not sure how it's intended to be used. It just says to apply to damp towel dry hair. That could be any number of things. It did seem to work for my curls, so I am gonna use that again today. The fifth lesson for me specifically, and this might be a totally different story for you. If it is, I would love to hear your stories below. For me, I did three pin curls on my top segment here that were the up. So they were staying the up. That is the technical term, everybody. We're gonna call it the up from now on. So they were the ones that instead of laying flat against my head, they were the up. And so they actually stayed up. And the intention of that is to get more body into your hair. I don't know if it's because my sections were too big, that it was too heavy, that I had zero body up here. My curls were all the way down here. And again, watch that first video if you wanna see kind of how that turned out. But I don't think that that made a big difference for me. For now, I am going to do all of my pin curls lying flat. I think last time I also did not really get much water on my scalp. And that might've had something to do with the curl near my scalp not being as tight or defined in any way, shape or form. It was actually pretty much dead straight. My scalp does not like getting wet. So I am going to do that today. I'm really hoping that it doesn't dry it out. I'm going to try to only get my hair wet. So we're going to try for one inch by one inch. Ish? Ish. It's all an ish. Measurement here. On my drive home today, I was thinking about this. Ha <laughs> ha Dropping my squirt bottle. I was thinking about this video and I was actually really excited to do it because I am not. <laughs> I'm not a hair expert by any means. And I feel like mastering the 50s hair is going to be what is going to help me feel and embrace vintage the best. Victory rolls are my arch nemesis for the time being. I am going to practice as much as I can with those because I absolutely love them. They are so iconic. For right now, my hair does not cooperate. And if you are wondering, my hair is technically way too long for this. Most pin curl style hairstyles are much shorter to start with. I know that Sage Lilyman, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, her hair is about here at the very longest. So I've got about six inches on her for that. So it is long and it is heavy and it is thick. This is going to make a difference in your pin curls. But like I said before, I did notice that my curls were really, really nice and they did have a 50s vibe to them, especially if you do the hairstyles that go along with it. And so I don't mind it. I love my hair being really long and I don't mind that it's not perfect. And it's still was enough of that vibe that I was pretty happy with it. All right, I'm going to roll all of mine away from my face. And like I said, I'm using two fingers. I am going to do down to the very bottom, wrap it around those two times. This is the part where I'm wondering if I did too much last time and I did not do that much this time. Having my ends cut does seem like it is doing a whole lot better for us. I do see that my light is flickering. I will adjust that as soon as I'm done with this curl. And I do know that you want to hold the tension the direction that you're rolling so you don't end up with some parts of it looser than others. That's something that I struggle with. I like to hold the tension down and then when I get up to the top and move it around it's like wait we weren't going this direction. Why are we going this direction now? Forward facing. The bobby pins that I'm using are Hitch. I bought these at Ulta which is a makeup and beauty supply store in America. I'm not sure if it's available elsewhere but one thing I really like about these bobby pins is they are really tight. So I usually use Con Air bobby pins. They're a lot looser. I like these bobby pins and I don't like them. For some of my hairstyles, it was putting too much tension on my head and I am pretty prone to headaches. So these are really, really tight for that. So I don't necessarily recommend them unless you are needing a tighter hold. Okay. On other hairstyles, and I think for the overnight sets, they're going to be a bit more effective because they are going to hold that a little bit tighter. I am hoping I'm going to get some pin curl clips. I think is what they're called. 
exactly so that I can do this without having lines. There are some reports that say that you do get lines in your pin curls if you use bobby pins. However, that has not been my experience. I did not have any specific lines from the bobby pins the first time and I did use the kitsch ones which were a little bit tighter too. And it feels really small but last time I only got three across the top of my head and that made it really hard to do the brick length pattern that you're supposed to do. So I am going to try to get more across the top. I am shooting for four across the top here. I'm not a fan of having water on my face. I actually have to shower with my towel over the shower rod so that I can wipe water out of my face at any point in time. I really, I just don't like it. Also on my drive home, I was listening to Christmas music and it was quite pleasant. One of the radio stations that plays it here locally made a joke. He says, Santa gives your kid Christmas presents and then the Christmas presents give you a headache. See, it's the season of giving. And that just cracked me up. I'm sitting on my car listen to my station i just got done jamming out to jingle bell rock and this joke comes on and i just i lost it at that point that was probably the best thing i could have heard all evening this is what i want to do just then i think that might be part of why i was having issues so i'm gonna go further down the end i'm shooting for about a wrap and a half around my fingers for this first wrap before i pull it off to try to make sure that it doesn't do the old wired phone effect I have watched some of the ladies do these. I've watched many, many YouTubers do these pin curls and they are so fast. I aspire to be as fast as them and I am not there. That's forward. Not too difficult to change the direction. Okay, you know what? I think this one is just, see, see why it's getting all bumpy up there? That's what I was talking about, about keeping your tension while you're rolling it. Otherwise it's going to do wonky things on you. This one is probably going to look a little funky tomorrow and that's okay. We're just going to have a funky little friend up there. Last time I did my bobby pins through both sides. I was considering trying it on just the one side today, but I don't think I like it. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very secure. We're going to fix it and just go through both sides. Like I said, I didn't end up with bobby pin marks. I'm not super concerned about that. I was just trying to make it look like the ladies do in all the other things. You know, you watch old tiny movies. I had this goal of wrapping everything backwards, but it seems like my natural tendency is to wrap forward. So I think we're going to change our goals to fit in with what happens naturally so that we're not fighting nature over here at least until we are a little bit more efficient with this and have the proper tool set to fight nature okay that one was a little bit thicker and doesn't feel very secure with just the one bobby pin so i am going to put the second one on there all i can do is help at this point so i did get three across the top i don't know if my head is just really small i tried to take really small segments and i was not able to get four across the top i believe the goal for the second row should be four and try to do that brick lane pattern so if you're not familiar with what that means think of a brick wall you've got the mortar in between and you see the brick and then the mortar cuts halfway through the brick on the next row so it's offset by about half of that width so we're gonna try to do that down here so my options are to do either a really big section right here so that it's offset or do a really tiny section probably about right there that is offset halfway through that one. I think I'm going to opt for really tiny. Since it is in the front, I do want that to be a little bit more curled than other sections. This one, I have all these baby hairs falling off. We're going to make sure that we are really, really well dampened. Oh, I just went straight down my arm and dribbled all over the floor. My bathroom is not really set up in a way that is conducive to filming and also being able to see myself. And I am not skilled enough to do it in my tiny little phone. So I do have a mirror set up right here just to help me with this process. I do feel like this set is a lot messier than the one that I did before. I think that in trying to go through just one section of the loops, I was creating a lot more up and I was not keeping it flat and pressed. You can see a lot of these little places seem pretty loose. Um, I am going to leave it like this and see what happens tomorrow. I am just using what I have for right now for a headscarf and this is actually just a scarf from Dollar Tree that I got for Halloween. It is the smallest and thinnest one that I have and the most lightweight material. I 
did use this for my first set and it didn't cause any issues for me. It did help prevent it from getting frizzy overnight. So I do think that this is a good option if you don't have a budget or an actual headscarf. I did ask for one for Christmas and if I don't get one, I will be buying myself one. The shape of this scarf is not ideal. However, it does work pretty well in a pinch and that's where I am at right now. So we're just gonna get this fastened on here like so. Pull my ears out because that drives me mental. Got a nice big adorable bow going up here. And voila. This is how I plan to sleep on it. And then tomorrow morning, I will definitely videotape the update of me taking it out. I am a little concerned that this set isn't going to be as nice as the last one, which is a little sad because I was hoping to improve upon it. Maybe I'll learn something new from this one as well. If you guys have any comments, tips, tricks that you've used in embracing vintage and embracing the pin curl life, leave them down below. If you like this video and want to see more content, on becoming vintage like this video and subscribe thank you